Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Karina Corral. And I'm Dan Shad. Well, good evening to you. A church in Lompoc's Mission Hills is stepping up security. Workers there say someone stole thousands of dollars after a service. KSBY's Kelsey McFarland joins us now live from Mission Hills. And Kelsey, how and when did this happen? Well, Dan, earlier this month, the pastor says that's when thousands of dollars disappeared from this church, and that was of member contributions. Now, just yesterday, the pastor says part of that mysteriously returned. Last week, members of Queen of Angels Church in Mission Hills learned thousands of dollars in donations were gone. This just was unbelievable. Shirley Heavener has gone to this church for 15 years. She says the evil act takes a big toll on their small community. You can't get much worse than that to me. This is God's house. Pastor Lauren Santos says the money went missing on November 5th, right after one of their most popular mass services. They receive upwards of $2,000 in one service. We usually put the collection here. Donations are locked away in a safe. And it's secure. It's that particular day, the money was placed on top of the safe. Everyone who was there was unsuspecting. Ministers saw a man taking a trash bag out that day. Their theory is that someone swiped the money into the bag and took off. And that is something very strange because nobody will be doing that during the time. This Sunday, Pastor Santos opened the collections bag and to his surprise, the checks were there. But about $1,000 in cash still missing. Pastor Santos says he'd like the thief to come forward and apologize. There's forgiveness in the church, in God, and through us. And Pastor Santos says there were cameras inside the church, but they Here. weren't working at the time. So they plan on getting some working cameras, and they've also already moved the safe to a different location. Live in Mission Hills, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. Mm. Interesting. All right, thank you for that, Kelsey. Now, we've reached out to the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office on this, but we've not heard back yet. 